Welcome to a video on how to make a frequency distribution table using StatCrunch. Before we get started, here's a quick note. If you're trying to make a frequency distribution table for quantitative or numeric data, it's a two-step process. You first have to bin the data into classes, then you can make a frequency table using the column containing the bins. I'm going to show you how to make a frequency distribution table for both qualitative and quantitative data. But if you need help binning the data, please see the linked videos in the description. Let's get started. Here are the steps for making a frequency distribution table in StatCrunch. The first thing you want to do is you want to enter the data into a column. If you're dealing with quantitative data, you may need to bin the data. I'm going to demonstrate the rest of these steps using an actual data set in StatCrunch. This is a sample data set on shark attacks that have occurred worldwide. For this first example, I'm going to show you how to make a frequency distribution table using a qualitative or categorical variable. To do this, I'm going to choose the variable sex, which has the shark attack victims listed as either being male or female. To make your frequency distribution table, Go to the stat menu, scroll down to tables and choose frequency. Under select columns, choose sex. And under statistics, you'll note that frequency and relative frequency are on by default, but you could also choose percentage, cumulative frequency, cumulative relative frequency, etc. I'll just leave the defaults. Under order by, make sure that it says value ascending, which is the default option. Click compute when you're ready. Now we've created a frequency table for the sex of the shark attack victims. We can see that there were 579 or roughly 10.78% of the victims were female and over 4,000 of the victims were male or about 89%. Now let's make a frequency distribution table for one of the quantitative variables. In this case, I'm going to use the variable age. Now, if you want to make a frequency distribution table for a quantitative variable, you first need to bin the data. I've already binned the data and I have that column bin age listed. In this case, I'm using uh, bins with a fixed width of 10. So let's make our frequency distribution for the bin age. Go back to the stat menu, scroll down to tables, frequency. When you select column, you don't want to choose age. You want to choose the bin age. Once again, I'll just leave frequency and relative frequency on by default value ascending for the order and then click compute. And now we have our frequency distribution table for the age of the shark attack victims. You'll notice that the bins go from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, and 40 to 50. It might appear at first glance that these classes overlap at 10, 20, 30, etc. But when you bin the data, only the left endpoint of the column is included. This means that this data set contains 108 shark attack victims, or about 3.4%, that were of ages between 0 and 9 years old. A little over 1,000, or 32.5%, were between 10 and 19. 951 or about 29.99% were between 20 and 29, etc. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.